This is Greg Gallon with Studio G7. I'm going to show you guys how to do a plate wall where we put a variety of different sizes of the copper plates into one big sculpture to accommodate a larger area. I'm going to show you the different hooks. These are just little hooks we made here in the shop and I designed them in different sizes. You've got a large for the 30 inch plates, you've got a, you know, a small one, 24 inch plates, and an even smaller one for the 18 inch plates. So they're just going to attach to the wall like this. And then it'll take one simple screw to, um, to attach it to the wall. Um, so let's go ahead and start hanging some plates and see what it looks like. Okay, to start off with, take your uh, bracket, your wall bracket, and go ahead and hook it onto the plate like that. What that it, it, it helps if you have a friend that can um, assist you, but I'll show you how to do it without any help. So I'm holding it like this. This is going to help me get kind of the position that I want on the wall. For this one, I want to bring it right. It'll be my central piece. Um, so you can see I get the position here. I line it up in the area I want. I bring a little pencil, mark it. Got my mark. And then put it back face down. Try not to. Um, you know, scratch the, the plates, have a good surface for it to lay on. If you've got a rug, that's even better. Then, in this case, I'm just going to use a single screw. I'll show you the, another technique. This is going into she rock, so it will work just fine. For it. Okay, so now I'll we'll take that plate we just hung the bracket for, you see, and I don't know if you can see, I'm hanging it right off of there, and I'm laying it down. Now if you notice, this plate is kind of leaning forward, it's really far forward, so it doesn't line up right. So what you'll want to do is come back here to the back, see where this bracket is, and just kind of pull it back until it levels up some. And, and you can push this thing up even. Now look at it. It's starting to look a little bit more level. Still out a bit on that side, so I'm gonna bring that bracket back a little more. There it is. Now it's laying pretty flat. And see, it shows it floating from the wall. What you wanna be thinking about is the distance from the wall. So this right here is a little more vertical. It's gonna come out a little bit further or actually maybe just right behind, but we'll find out in one second. And we can make an adjustment once we get up there. Got it hung back on the, the wire. Bring it up. Let's see here. Find my, well, let me come to the other side. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have to do this occasionally too. So we'll find our spot that we want that to rest. It's going to be right there. We mark it. And then we'll attach it. Let's get it hung. There it is. See how it's kind of overlapping a little bit? The plate next to it. Still coming out. Um, okay, this one, I'm going to show you a, a little... Uh, a little more supportive way. So if you're going to be um, putting it into she rock and you want to make sure it's really secure, it's in she rock on my wall here, but if I had this in a in a public area, I probably would want to use an anchor. So this is the anchor I suggest. I really suggest you use it on the, your home too. So you'll take the anchor and you use it just like you would a screw. Let's get our bracket, find out where we're going to place it. Go again. 
this one here I'm going to bring kind of low, right here I think. Is it my mark? Okay, got it. So, they would tell you a hammer. Of course, I would say the back end of my drill. Tap it in. Do it a little more. Just like that. And then, that's as far as you want to make it, you want to make it flush. And then, take the screw. I'm just using little um, sheetrock screws. Nothing